Hey guys, Ben here. How is it going? Um, well, basically, we're on with another video. Today we're going to be doing a Watchtower quest, which will allow us to do the Watchtower teleport, and it'll get us some pretty nice, you know, mage XP. Don't... Uh, actually, it might get us a level. I'm not too sure what it's like. I think it's like 16k, so it might. But anyway, just before we go into the video, first of all, we got 60 attack, and we've got some Dragon Maces. The reason I got Dragon Maces is that I currently killed Deadly Red Spiders for the best XP I can get, which is about 100k or so. Um, and of course they're weak to crush weapons like maces, so I thought may as well grab those and see how it goes. So yeah, other than that, I've not really done much, just been getting my combat stats up, just because once I've got 60 attack, 60 defense, 60 mage, maybe 65 mage, and then maybe 60 strength, I'm going to be going to barrows, and I'm going to be doing a sort of a separate little series for that, road to all barrows items, which I'm hoping will, you know, be good. Also guys... I just like to say we managed to hit forty six thousand total video views, which is absolutely incredible. So yeah, thank you for that, guys. Hopefully that keeps up, and maybe one day we'll hit hundred thousand. Anyway, on with the video. Got to climb up to this. Is it a trellis? Yeah, trellis. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Got a bit of a <clears throat> something in my throat. It's a bit weird. Anyway, let's go up here, and we need to speak to the watchtower. Is this dude over here? Now, let's see what he wants. Now I'm going to venture what you're doing here. Stuff like that. Okay, cool. Um, what's the matter? Um, come on. Uh, how can we done work all this shit? Come on. Come on. Um, can I be of help? That's all I want to know, mate. Right. I need to go searching through some bushes now, as he's just said there. So, just before I do that, I'm going to go down this ladder. And then... Down this ladder, I think. Don't think I'm gonna get killed down here, no. And pick up this candle here. I don't know why, but I've, I've been told it's needed for later. So, anyway, guys, we're gonna search some bushes. So, this could take a while, so I'm gonna skip back once I've uh, got all the stuff. Okay, guys, we are back, and we got all five things we need to get from in the thing, from in the bushes. And we're gonna go speak to the Watchtower Wizard once again. See what he's got to say for himself. Yes, we did find something of interest. Look at these. A scavid. We need to go find a scavid, apparently. Um, what do you suggest I do? Okay. Um, so what do I do, then? This sounds... Okay, well... Can't read that. That's way too quick to read. Anyway, I know that we've got to go speak to Og now, and I think he's a little trek away, and this video is going to be extremely long. I think so. I'm going to skip it and get back to you when I get to him. Okay, guys, we're here at Og. I've just found out Tom's actually going to do Bandos right now. I'm uh, a tad jealous, not going to lie. Um, I do kind of really like going to Bandos. I know Tom and I were discussing when we're next going to go to Bandos ourselves, like on our mains, do a bit more stream with you guys. I think that's going to hopefully be pretty soon, though um, we can't be too certain when exactly. So, anyway, I believe we've got to use a rope on this bit of a tree here. Yep, is this what we're doing? Um, nothing interesting happens. Oh, it's got to be used on the branch, of course. Okay, there we go. And now he can swing across. We've got to speak to Gru over here. What a name. What do you want, little morsel, whatever he's calling us? Um, don't eat me. I can help you. Um, there we go. Got the right one. I think if you... What the fuck? Um, okay, I think we've done that part. Anyway, um, I'm going to pick up these Jangaberries. I believe we need them in the quest. And, you know, I don't want to have to come and get Jangaberries in the future if I'm ever going to need them. So, I'm just going to pick them up now. Like, all the spawns over here. Just because, you know, if I have to come back and get them, I'm going to be like, oh, where do I get Jangaberries? I'll forget. And then, it's all going to be a pain. So, anyway, guys, I'll get back to you when we're at the next part of the quest. Okay, guys, I just bumped into this dude here, and I decided, you know, I may as well do this quickly for the XP. I won't make you guys watch this. I just thought I'd let you know what has happened. Okay, guys, we have finished, and let's just see this happen. I know this bit's a little bit boring, but still, yeah. I like this sort of cool. It's a bit of a shame. It's Isn't it every month? Um, I prefer it to be every week. I think it would be a bit easier. I don't know. It just seems a bit more appealing if it was every week, but still. Anyway, we'll finish that now, get some construction XP, a level there, I believe, as well. Yep, and pray at Statue of Grador for some prayer XP as well. And we got a prayer level as well. So, you know, it was worth it. Um, yeah, fuck off. So, anyways, get rid of these quickly. 
and one of the requirements for Cold War, fair play, it's pretty good. Um, let's close that now. Oh yeah, we're nearly 10.50 total, I have been on a bit more recently, I've been, I don't know, catching up a lot more with my work, the stuff that's been holding me back from doing more videos and playing more in general. Um, I kind of wish we could get Tom a decent computer so he could do some recording as well, because I know that um, he's like 1500 total now, he's going to Bandos and stuff, and I know that's something you guys probably want to see more than me doing quests, but I promise you there aren't going to be any more of these, well many more of these boring quest videos. I think there's still going to be some, I mean, of course like there's going to be big quest videos, I might still do them if people want to see them, but I'm hoping to be able to do things like Bandos when I get there, but first of all, Barrows and Dagnoth King, stuff like that. So anyway, we're at this cave entrance, we need to go down, and we've ended up here, and we need to speak to Tobin, I think. And, um, I seek entrance into the City of Ogres. How you'll never get in there, shut up. Let's see, um, I could do something for you. Um, bring me, uh, Dragon Bones, and then we've got him some Dragon Bones in the inventory. Let's see, so he's given us the relic part three now we need to open this chest here and get Og's gold so have we yeah we've got Og's gold or oh, Tobin's gold sorry oh shit yeah this is the dude we have to kill here Gorad oh shit why is he attacking okay let's get him this shouldn't be too long I might have over prepared on food again like I always seem to do that better safe than sorry though um let's see okay come on Gorad die die See, I'm killing things a lot quicker now. It's always nice when you got two dragon maces. Only 50k each, surprisingly enough, so that's pretty good. Now it's berries, big bones, and I'll get back to you guys at the next part of the quest. Okay, guys, we're back, and where the hell is that Sog there, that nice-looking fella? Anyway, we've got him his gold. He's going to give us now a relic. Yep, that's great. And now I need to go speak to this dude down here. Um, we need to use our rope on this branch again, because for some reason it didn't stay. It fell off when we swung. I don't know. Wow, what are they all dancing for? I don't know. Anyway, let's hop over and speak to Gru. See what he has to say. We've got ourselves his tooth, and he's going to give us part of this. See, anyway, now we've got the relic part one, relic part two, wherever the part... Th there was there even... Yeah, part three there, and ourselves a crystal. So, we need to go back to the Watchtower Wizard. I will see you guys there. Okay guys, we're back up here again, and we need to speak to this Watchtower Wizard dude. Let's see, give him all of this stuff. Um, there we go. And what do we do with the crystal? Do we give that to him? Hold on till I have all four. Okay, I need three more. So anyway guys, um, wow, okay. This person in the clan, Jack Smutin, um, she just got three magic levels. 40, 41, and 42 in, like, 30 seconds. That isn't even... What? How the fuck? I don't even know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to see you guys when we're at the entrance to the Ogre City. Okay, guys, we're at these Ogre Guard dudes. Now, if anybody's sort of doing this quest, following what I'm doing, you want to be using the Ogre Relic on the Ogre. If you just talk to him, he'll chuck you out, and you're like, I don't know, it'll hurt. So anyway, we're through. Great. Um, I believe we've got to go down here. Oh god, he doesn't look too friendly, does he? Um, who is friendly around here? Alright guys, um, I can't actually remember what I'm doing, so I'll just get back in one second for you. Okay guys, sorry about that. I just sort of completely blanked out as to what I was meant to be doing in here, but should be a stall over here. Somewhere. Oh, there should be... Here we go. The counter here. Steal a rock cake. The reason we're stealing this is we need to get all across this entire city and... Wow, I, I say things like city really weird. I'm talking fast. Anyway, yeah. We need to give this to a dude. We're not meant to eat this because does it say it's going to hurt? And if you want to break all your teeth. Exactly. Yeah, like it deals quite a bit of damage, I believe. Last time I did it, it did. But I haven't done this quest in a long time, which is why I completely forgot what I was doing two seconds ago. Anyway. So, oh, no. We want to climb over. Oh, where do you think you're going for the cooking pot? Nah, mate. But I'm a friend to ogres. Get something from the market like what? Surprises. Right. Use, not eat. How about this? There we go. Fair play. Climb over. And we keep going. So this isn't going too bad now. I've got two of these dudes to talk to to get over this one. 
Okay. Or not. We've just got to jump. Um, jump. Oi, 20 GP first. Okay, I'll pay it. There we go. Um, and we're over. Now I think... Oh, wait, what's in the chest? What's in the chest? Oh, shit, a spider. Fuck off, spider. Kind of, that's a joke. Hate shit like that. Anyway, let's get over here and... Whoa, what's with the lag? Um, I think I've got to talk to one of these dudes. I don't know. Where do I go from here? Let's try talking. Talk to the city guard. What's your business here? I'm on an errand. Let's see, uh, I seek passage into the scavid caves. Yep, so he's given us some gay riddle. Anyway, the answer is a death rune, so there we go. And we've got ourselves a map, which is, you know, always nice. It's a bit confusing, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to get back to you once we're at the location we need to be for finding the scavids. Okay, guys, we're at the first of the caves we need to go in, so let's go in and speak to this dude in here. There he is. Scared scavid. Are they all scared now? Um, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Uh, don't touch me, okay. Um, what? It's a little bit weird. Anyway. Um, okay, okay, I'm not going to hurt you. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, shit. What the fuck? How the hell did he just teleport? That's bullshit. Okay, um, been told to look out for a nightshade or something. Oh, fingernails, nice, that's disgusting. Um, that's coin, okay, no. Been told that I need to look out for those because of some shit, but anyway. It's gonna go in the first of the caves at the moment, which is here, I believe. So, anyway, how far away are we? Okay, not that far away. Oh no, is it up there? Anyway, guys, I'll get back to you once I'm in the cave. Okay, guys, um, yeah, we're at the cave. I skipped that a little bit just because I thought, you know, save a bit of time, he's not saying anything important anyway. I've got all the translations written down. Kerbidith. Ig. Yep, he understood me. Um, now if I leave, I believe, and, wait, do we have to, like, no, we don't clean that or anything. Cool. So anyway, we need to go in the second cave here. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, Tom just hit 205 uh, in the ranks for Hardcore Iron Man, which is, you know, pretty impressive, really. So anyway, let's speak to this dude. Gork, uh, what we need to reply with is R. Yep, he understood us too, that's great. So leave this cave now and go to the third one, which is here, I believe. Oh heck, lag a bit. Um, open up this cave here. And speak to this dude here. See what he says. Bidith Tanith Kerr. There we go. He understood me too. So this is going pretty well. Last cave is just around here. So yeah. It's going pretty well. I'm enjoying this quest. I thought it was going to be a lot more boring than it is. It's not. I don't think it's too bad. Um, it could have been worse. But you know. Anyway. Where are we going? I think it's. Yeah here. Cool. Great. So, yeah, this quest is going to give us quite a bit of um, mage XP, as well as um, the ability to do the watchtower teleport and make watchtower tabs, which isn't too useful, but it's still something. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to you on the next part of the video. Okay, guys, we're just coming up to the scared scavid again, and we've got to talk to him, and he's going to do something cool. So, let's see. Yep, that's great. And, yeah, so now we need to go speak to the mad dude. But I believe we need an anti-dragon shield first, and I swear to god, I, I did put it in my inventory, and it's gone. So, I'm just going to be two seconds grabbing that. Okay guys, we are back, we've got the uh, anti-dragon shield, which I think I'm going to wear right now in case I forget, because knowing me, I am going to forget. Anyway, when you choose this, hold, you cannot pass, I'm a friend to the ogres, give me some gold. Oh, what? I used the gold on him. Oh, guys, okay, I'm just going to go back to him as soon as... Well, I'm going to get back to you guys once I get back to him. Okay, guys, we're back. Going to use this gold bar on him again and see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't throw us... Yeah, okay, that's great. I thought they did a lot more damage when they threw you, which is why I was initially a bit scared, but it's fine. Um, are those holes in this? I'm assuming you can't fall down there because you'd die. Anyway, we've got to go through here, and there's going to be some shit, which is why we needed the shield yeah climb down this hole because i don't know if the blue dragon's down here random you or not um what 
What the fuck? Um. Last time I did this quest, I swear to God, it was dragons. I remember it. I I I remember it. I'm just gonna go and have a look for a second because it's. I know after we've gone through some tunnel, we're supposed to beat this dude, but there was meant to be like dragons and shit. I swear. Okay, guys, some funny shit's going down. The fucking clan. Everyone was. This dude says I'm off for some duck pancakes. I said, "Oh, have fun. It would be a shame if you were to choke." And then uh, he was like, some other dude was like, what a, what a duck pancakes. He's like, you know, the Chinese ones. I was like, that's racist. He was like, yeah, the chinky ones. And Tom's convinced this dude that I'm Chinese. And he's like apologizing. Oh, my days. <laughs> he's still going for it. That's hilarious. Oh, Tom's just, Tom's just told them now. Oh, it's all good. Anyway, back to this dude. Kurt Hanneth. Um, I know that. Yes. Um, so we've got this crystal off of him, which is always nice. Now we need to go back through here and into the market again, which is a little trek, so I'll get back to you guys when we get there. Okay, guys, we're down here, and the reason we needed this cave nightshade is we have to use it on this dude here. Oh, it burns, it burns. Proceed regardless. And this is where the dragons are, um, maybe, is it? Is this where the dragons are? Yes. I was wondering where this friggin' dragon was. Um, what the fuck? Um, okay. What the fuck? He just what? He just what? Okay. That happened. Let's fucking run. Right, I believe we just gotta run out of here. There's like... Loads of... Ogre chieftains and shit. There's the Ogre Shaman. Don't really wanna go near him, because he can one-hit us. By the looks of things. Um... Do we have to mine this rock? Can't remember this. Can't touch. Perhaps it's linked with the shames in some strange way. I don't know. But I'm getting out of here because this shit is scary. Anyway, it's not scary. I thought these were dragons attacked, which is why I went and got my shield, but apparently not. Oh well. I'm not complaining. So anyway, we've got to go back to the watchtower dude now, so I'll see you guys in just one second. Okay guys, we're up in the watchtower again, and we need to speak to this watchtower wizard over here. And we need to make a potion. Now, to make this potion, we need to use Clean Gorm on Guam Gorm. I don't know how you pronounce that, but anyway, we don't want to eat the Jankaberries. We want to use them on this to make a vial of. What is that a vial of? Ah, some bullshit. Anyway, now we need to grind these bat bones and use them on there to make a potion. Now, if we speak to the Watchtower Wizard, he's turned it into a Magic Ogre potion. Which is going to fuck over some ogres. Anyway, on the talk of ogres, a guy called Ogres just maxed. He got 99 minutes. And, 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 oh, wow. Went 17 and a half minutes without doing that. I was so impressed. Anyway, he managed to get 99 and everything. So, grats to him if he's watching, you know. Anyway, guys, I'll get back to you in the next part of the video once again. Okay, guys, we're just going to get the, the cave nightshade that I left. I think that's what it's called, cave nightshade. Yeah, anyway, we need another one to get in the cave. I forgot. And there's one in here. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys again in the next part. Okay guys, we're here and we're pretty close to the end of the video. Um, if we use this on... Wait a second, we'll use it on this dude. I don't know which one you meant to use it on. But he seems closer, so you know. Yes, proceed. So, we sneak past, we get in here. Now we've got to use this potion on all of the um, Ogre Shaman. Now I'm not going to attack them, I'm not going to talk to them. Because they managed to one-hit that dragon earlier. Or almost one hit him. I just want to kill them all. Like, using the potion. And he's gone. One of them's meant to drop, like, a green or a blue gem. I think it's blue gem. Um, is that an ogre? Yeah, that's an ogre shaman. Great. Okay, let's get him. And he's dead as well. Great. Next one. Where are they all? Where are they all? Um, that's one. Fuck! What have I done? What have I done? <gasps> Shit! <sighs> Fuck! Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. That was fucking bad. I thought he's gonna like destroy us then. Anyway, he's gone. Where's the next one? There's meant to be like six. That's three done. I know it's not the chieftains. It's just the other dudes. The uh, shaman. There's one. 
make sure I actually click on that potion now. Um, one there, and then one somewhere else as well, I think. It's four done. Number five's here. And is that, no, no, that's not number six. That's number six. I think number six is the one who's going to be dropping us the stuff. Whoa, what's in there? That's cool. Anyway, he's just going to drop us this. Yeah, there we go. We've got the blue crystal. Um, what's it? Oh, that's just a load of bones. I thought it was going to be like a load of fat loot. It's going to go in for that. But anyway, so now we've got all of those. I believe we just got to mine this central crystal. Get the last crystal. Go to the watchtower. And place crystals in the thing. We're done. So, yeah. Also, I found out how that girl in the clan was getting all those mage levels. She was doing the lumbridge thing. I don't want to prospect it. Um... She was doing, you know, the Lumbridge combat training. That's uh, how she was doing it, because she hadn't done that yet, and of course it scales, so... You know, that was... You know, if anyone hasn't already done it, wait until you got pretty high level before you do it, because it's going to help you out a lot more. Or if you're trying to get 60, say, you're like 55, I'd probably use that. Anyway, guys, I will be back when we get to the dude. So, guys, we're at the final bit... Oh, wrong wizard, this dude here. Um, we're at the final bit of the quest and we've got all the quist uh, crystals really Ben crystals so now shield during can react fade once so crystal and pillars um does it say which pillar um so you see I don't know is there like a specific order the crystals have to go in I don't know let's try it um not the right crystal oh okay so it tells you that's good green crystal really the yellow crystal okay well, there we go. I don't know where where else. That's not it. God, this is a pain. Okay, there we go. This one's got to be this one. Come on. Yes, there we go. And finally, the last one. What's that going to do? Speak to this dude here now. And let's turn the switch on. Where's the switch? There we go. Oh, I've never been so happy to finish a quest. It's taken so long. 15k magic XP. Yes. Right, there we go, guys. Done. 57 mage, watchtower complete. We've got four quest points, 5k, and this scroll which we're going to read, which is going to get us the watchtower teleport thing. Anyway, so let's see. One of the requirements for glorious memories and an enchant diamonds now, which is bloody useful, actually, as soon as we can craft them. Diamond rings. I'm just going to check that now. Jewelry. Diamond ring, diamond ring, diamond ring, diamond ring. Where's diamond ring? Um, where the hell is diamond ring? Onyx ring is there. Surely diamond ring should be well before that. I can't even fucking see it. There it is, diamond ring, 43. So we're what? Four levels off. And then we make ourselves ring of lives, which is going to be so useful. So, anyway... Yeah, guys, that was a pretty tiring quest. Altogether, I was probably actually doing that for about two hours. Maybe maybe a little bit less. But, yeah. Maybe an hour and a half. Okay, let's say... Let's stick with an hour and a half. Anyway, guys, just want to say, first of all, thank you for the 46k total views. That's absolutely mental. Like, it's... Every week we get an extra thousand. It's, it's just adding up. Um, you know, 50,000 is going to be a pretty big milestone. I know hopefully with the Guiding of the Divination one, that'll get us a few thousand as well. The reason I want to get views isn't like... Because I know people do gain money off this, and you know, if you get a certain amount or whatever. But, you know, I want to do it. I want to get 100,000 people viewing the things, just so we've got a sort of a bigger fan base. More of a reason to be making the videos if people are wanting to see what we wanted to do and all that sort of stuff. So anyway guys, I'm not going to blab on for too long at the end because I know people get a bit pissed off when I do that. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.